Hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone who took part in the competition for the 30,000 subscribers. For those of you that have placed your comment underneath the video, you have taken part in the competition. The competition is still going though. It will close on the 15th and I'm going to choose three people as I have already mentioned, that will get a free reading um, from me. Thank you to all of you that have already done, you know, have you have entered in the competition already. The, the comments have been amazing. Thank you so much for your feedback. I really appreciate it. Um, as I said, it, the competition is still going till around the 15th. So if you want to enter, you need to place your comment underneath that video. Now, also I'd like to thank everyone who has purchased the Vimeo extended readings. I'm going to be doing that again today. So I will be doing your normal, um, I'm doing the normal Celtic cross at the beginning of the month. On the 15th for the second part of July, I will be doing the divine reading that I did last readings. So now, these readings are going to be um, only the Celtic Cross and the extended reading will be put up on Vimeo. Again, thank you so much for your support, for your love, for your comments and everything that you do for my channel. I will be doing extra readings for the two eclipses that are coming up. Around uh, The first one is around the 12th, 13th of the month. So I'll be doing a general reading for everyone for that eclipse and then I will be doing another one for the eclipse taking part on the 27th or 28th of July wherever you are in the world depending on. So special readings, look forward to those and next week I will have the July till the end of the year, six months readings, right, for 2018. So look out for those as well. Again, I would like to thank everyone for their trust, for my clients, the people who have bought readings off me, for those of you that have bought the Vimeo readings, thank you, thank you so much. This is a major month. This month is incredible. And I'm also going to be doing one reading, one special reading on astrology on Vimeo. That will be on Vimeo. And it will be in relation to the end of June, and all of July. So for those of you that are astrology lovers, do look out for that as well. Okay, I will be starting your readings now. So I'd just like to say before I go on to the readings, happy birthday to all our Cancerian people out there. Many happy returns to all of you um, and sending you a lot of love and a lot of blessings. Okay, talk to you soon. Hello dear Virgo, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here. This is your July 1st to your J July 15th, 2018. And this is a general and love reading. Now for an extended reading, you can go to Vimeo. I will have everything you need in the description box. If you want to follow me there, the link is in the box below the video. So July is a big month full of eclipses, full of difficult and life-changing energies. Difficult in the sense that change is never easy. Change can be good. Eclipses bring good and bad depending on what they touch in our chart, what planets they touch upon our personal natal chart. So Virgo, let's see what's what's happening with you this month. Beginning of July 2018 till mid-July for Virgo. Okay, in the now position we've got the Knight of Cups.
The challenge position is the Five of Pentacles. At the bottom of the reading and the root of the matter is the Devil. In the recent past we have the King of Wands. Crowning your reading, dear Virgo, is the World card. In the near future we have the Hermit card, which is your card. In the position of you is the Eight of Swords. What is external to you and in your environment is the Knight of Swords. Your hopes and fears is the Three of Cups. And the outcome card is the Empress. Love to see that. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Okay, dear Virgo, Nine of Wands, one step before the Ten. You still got a little while to go before your burden lightens. I can see that in this card it hasn't been easy for you. It's a nine which gives you, you know, take a deep breath. One more one to go before the burden lightens. Okay, what is behind the nine? We have the two of wands. So if we add the nine and the two, that's eleven. And there's the eleven. See those two ones? Okay, why? We've got the world card crowning your reading and the world card is a completion is the end of a cycle so I would say that in a couple of weeks and in between the eclipses more than likely you will be at the 11 not at the 10 at the 11 will you, where you'll be looking into a new doorway this is a 2 yes but if you look at it it looks like an 11 correct now the Two of Wands for me is looking across the seas, dealing with international matters. Look at the world ball in his hand. Looking across the seas, as you can see this person is holding on to one wand. This is what you feel passionate about, what you are driven by. It looks as though you are choosing out of these two wands. You are choosing the one and leaving the other one behind. So if you are taking the one wand, yes, that adds up to a ten, right? Ten of wands, getting to the completion. What is beneath that? Moving away. Intellectually, you are moving away. Wherever you are going, know that it will be more, um, more to your liking, more to what you deserve, dear Virgo. It will behoove you to move. And that's what I can see here. But the funny thing is here is that there are two different um, two directions I don't believe that I don't believe that these two people are the same so even though we know that there's many layers to the tarot yes psychologically I believe and intellectually that you are going to a better place could you be going somewhere at a distance, somewhere traveling, somewhere to an international uh, destination, somewhere far away? Or is there someone waiting for you at the other end? It looks like there's going to be some sort of a meeting here. <clears throat> Three of Wands. That is funny. Okay. You have sent out your ships and you are waiting on the return, whatever you have invested in, dear Virgo. Okay, it's starting to take form. Okay, so we go from the three to the two to the nine. Nine is the month of September, it is the month of your birthday. Well, I hope it doesn't take that long <laughs> for most of you, anyway. So in the now position, dear Virgo, you have the Knight of Cups, water sign energies. This is your knight in shining armor, offering his cup, offering his cup to you. But um, 
But the challenge is the Five of Pentacles. So this, this Knight of Cups, who could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Piscean individual, um, is walking into being left out in the cold, as you can see. And we've got here the Five of Pentacles, that's your challenge. So what, uh, growing spiritually, the challenge is to grow spiritually, the challenge is your finances, or you are just emotionally being feel, feeling left out in the cold. Now the Knight of Cups um, in the extended videos on Vimeo, I will be taking some more um, cards on that, but do know that the Knight of Cups sometimes is hot, sometimes is cold, and with all the blue, all the blue here, there is a sense of being cold. So could it be an air sign that we are talking about? Why? Because in your environment position, you've got the Knight of Swords. Be a Virgo. I see a lot of Virgos dealing with air signs. And the blue on the Knight of Cups makes you feel, it reminds you of an icy, icy sort of an offer, an offer that is coming in that's going to make you feel as though you're left out in the cold, right? So I don't believe that this is an offer that is well accepted. Now if you are offering your cup, dear Virgo, the challenge is to get over this energy because I don't think it's the right time for the cup to be taken, to be accepted. Now, if that is the case, is that why you are looking into your lantern in the near future? You are looking for answers. There is a lot of blue here. Yeah? Are you feeling blue, dear Virgo? The Hermit is a very spiritual card. This is maturing spiritually. You are going within, taking time away from everyone and everything, and you are looking for what is missing, what's missing in your life, what are you missing that you cannot see. The Hermit, of course, receives the, the news, the information from the Divine. So this Hermit and you, Virgo, are obviously communicating with the Divine. You are aligned with the divine and waiting to be to acknowledge your next step forward so it seems as though it may be a challenging time challenging time <laughs> that's an understatement we've got the capricorn card the devil we've got saturn up here and we've got the devil here capricorn where is saturn the planet Saturn, Kronos, he is in Capricorn, he's right there with Black Moon Lilith, close to Pluto, not very far away. The devil is a difficult energy. You feel as though you are chained and bound and look at you, you feel as though you are trapped. This is a trap. What kind of a trap is this? It's an intellectual trap, dear Virgo. It's an intellectual trap. Someone is playing with your head. You are very, um, very quick thinking, very um, detail orientated. You are ruled by Mercury, correct? Now, Mercury is in the sign of Cancer, and it won't be, it's actually. Um, Uh, it just finished. It just finished uh, opposing, opposing Pluto, which is, <laughs> yeah. So it had a bit of a journey uh, recently. While it's been in Cancer, it opposed Saturn and then it opposed Pluto. Um, so it's been through quite a difficult time. Even though Mercury's uh, visible up in the sky, I think that the Devil being in the distant past is an energy that is fading away slowly. 
it does take a lot of energy a lot of will okay whatever this restriction whatever this grounded earthy and physical difficulty in your life is is it a person dear Virgo or is it you overindulging and you could be using anything to help you get over this difficult energy now I'm not saying I'm not saying that you are dead set you know drowning your sorrows with alcohol or drugs or some of you may be overeating some of you may just feel as though you are like a bird in a cage like a bird in a cage the world card which is your crowning card this is the energy of karma this is a cycle that is completing and this is what's on your mind you are hoping to finish up with this karmic cycle um, whatever this knight of cups is whoever this is I would say that you have been in a loop with this person just going over and over again trying to get it right trying to escape trying to break the chains and here we've got in the near in the near past we've got the king of wands now the king of wands can be a leo sagittarius or aries and the knight of cups of course as i said water sign scorpio pisces or cancer two people have got their back turns to it turn to each other and now this story could go either way either the king of wands is the person who is the devil in your life now the king of wands can be you know this is more matched why do i say that the king of wands can be a very sexual sign as can the devil a lot of sexuality a lot of uh, uh, passionate yes passionate um, and difficult um, I would say communication uh, reaction maybe this king of wands is a very fiery very um, egotistical um, individual one who is driven by their passions driven by their by the lust and driven by ego i think these three things are what i feel for this king of wands now he is facing towards the uh the past he is facing towards the past and we've got the knight of swords which is also heading towards the past and this is what's in your environment position now you could be involved with someone who's got strong air strong air and fire so as I said Sagittarius Aries or Leo um, now the water sign the water sign may be an individual who is coming forth slowly into your life I feel as though maybe because as you can see we see three people here there's two that are feeling left out in the cold so that means that there is no sharing no caring even though they are together it doesn't look as though it looks as though they're standing on their own and then the knight of cups walks in comes into the same spot it looks as though this knight of cups is following this couple could this be someone else that is coming in knight of cups which which would be uh, more youthful sort of an offer it's quite uh, it's it's a bit of an immature offer maybe it's not the right time maybe maybe because the knight of cups is someone who can be just like the wind changes right he can be going whichever way the wind blows so if things are well he is emotionally balanced he will come in if he's under hardship because this is the challenge the challenge is over this night 
the challenge is for this night to come into the five pentacles and save you but that it, there is a challenge and why probably because there is poverty here in the five of pentacles there is spiritual awakening though there is a spiritual blessing and this is a disguise so what you are going through at the moment dear Virgo know that your savior is walking in one step at a time trotting in slowly slowly and steadily and as I said just pray that the winds of change are heading his into his direction and not heading against him okay so so the cycle is closing the cycle is ending and you are looking for the answers now this could also be another person looking into you know looking into the lantern looking for answers just because you are the you are Virgo and this is the card of Virgo does not mean it is only you it could be another person looking for information in regards to spiritual awakening spiritual enlightening and just in general growing spiritually now look at the meeting here it looks as though this this person here is someone very important when I say someone very important it feels as though he's got a a heavenly heavenly aura about him it could be someone that is from the divine it could really be someone who is from the divine he's another nine now this could be a spiritual teacher some of you may be in into spiritual studies into religion okay this may be helping you through the hardship this looks as though he's a spiritual guru he is someone that can help out he receives the information from above and then he passes it on to us humans to the people who are in need of uh, you know advice advice from from the heavens now in the position of you dear Virgo is the eight of swords again still feeling trapped still feeling trapped and above you above you and in your head is this knight of swords moving towards the past moving out quickly so could this be the same person could this be the same person so we've got Capricorn we've got uh, fire and we've also got air now in your hopes and wishes is the three of cups and the three of cups is a celebration you are hoping hoping to get together with friends hoping to get together with family hoping to have some sort of celebration now if this is a family reunion it could be happening in a matter of I don't know this could be three days three weeks three months even now if this isn't getting together with family you are hoping to celebrate some sort of growth in your life now the Empress is it could be a mother figure it is the mother of earth she is all about growth and expansion and giving now if this is your energy you are standing very strong dear Virgo okay it is time for you to collect the harvest do know that with the Empress there is so much love and abundance in your path for some of you Virgos you may be bearing a child you may be falling pregnant this is what she does right she is pregnant she is three months pregnant it could be that in six months so by Christmas and the time of Capricorn you could be reaping the rewards of your heart hard work your creative project projects sorry and also the Empress could be a mother figure 
now we've got the mother and we've got the three daughters here so could this does this resonate with you okay it could be three daughters three siblings but this could be a mother and for those of you that are expecting as I said then this is your energy um, so what just came to my mind is beauty and the beast this is the beast and this is beauty so the beast is metaphorical let's say <laughs> it can be literal I suppose but beauty and the beast what a story is it not um, it looks as though de the devil as I said is fading away slowly but there is work still to be done and why do I say that because you are showing up here in the eight of swords you are showing up uh, still trapped stuck in your head very very too much you know thinking too much using your energy um, wasting your energy dear Virgo and you know that the devil can speak of fears as well just like the moon card can this is a sense of fearing that you don't have the strength to to get out of this situation now just letting you know that the devil as I said can be a sexual energy Venus is still in Leo um, and it will be moving into Virgo <coughs> excuse me in a couple of weeks so at the time of the eclipses which are happening in July the first on the 13th of July and the second on the 27th of July Venus is going to be in Virgo so Virgo is you know perfection Virgo is putting in the hard work Venus is love and money okay now the Empress does speak of love and does speak of money so could we talking could we be talking about in a couple of weeks when Venus moves into Virgo now after Virgo is Libra and this is Libra so we could be talking about uh, I don't know a month after that what I do know is that um, there is love and abundance as the outcome here for you and I'm very very happy to see that uh, let me just fix the cards differently because you can't see them dear Virgo now we've got air energy we've got Capricorn as I said now the the um, the cups here you are probably wishing you may be wishing that an offer is come in coming in or that an offer is being received well you're hoping to celebrate now you are obviously closing up one chapter of your life and opening up another obviously when there is an end there is a new beginning um, and I do believe that there is many lessons here in your reading and a lot of spiritual growth here now what could the hermit be receiving from the divine what could that be I'm going to look at these cards dear Virgo in the Vimeo readings <laughs> Virgo Virgo what's happening deception justice number 11 trying to find your balance oh goodness strength wheel of fortune three major arcana cards just there so know that the divine is with you whatever you are going through justice will prevail okay Virgo I'd like to thank you for those of you that want to continue on to Vimeo uh, you are welcome there with I'm going to set out many more cards much more clarity for you the finer details with the Sibylas the romance angels and the um, the Lenormand cards yeah so see you on the other side dear Virgo I do wish you well and I will be back with more videos thank you kindly much love to you bye bye